Alright, hello everyone. We are going live here and this is Mike with BTEC Reviews and we are just testing out the Motorola G7 and I've actually just got this one a few hours ago and I actually uh, already uh, shot a video about it uh, but at the same time I haven't edited it so I actually have been having to run a few errands. Uh, what's up uh, Michael Hill, how you doing? Let me know how this uh, live stream is looking and um, I guess just how the connection quality looks in general, right? Uh, but anyway, so I'm over here uh, in an area where it kind of looks nicer. Normally I shoot like in my backyard and stuff like that. So, so I just kind of wanted to uh, get a live shot of what's going on around me. Uh, again, this is the front facing camera of the Moto G7. And I wanted to test it out just because, uh, you know, this so, so far I'm pretty impressed by this cell phone. So just all around, let's see if we can kind of get shots. Hopefully it's not too uh, grainy or whatever. Uh, I'm in an area where it's basically like, I guess, kind of like a convention center area where I live. So, so again, we are live streaming this, if you guys are familiar with uh, where I live, etc. cetera. Uh, this is uh, the McAllen Convention Center area. Steven Oberding, my birthday is on Tuesday and it was awesome. Happy belated birthday, brother, by the way. Shout outs to you. So again, uh, again, this is just kind of like a quick live stream. Uh, I am streaming off Mint Mobile service, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and walk around. I mean, let's go ahead and and, and show you guys, I guess, you know, what this looks like, etc., like that. And Stephen Oberdeen says thanks, Michael, by the way. So let me know if you guys think it's a little bit um, shaky, by the way. Uh, I I am gonna upload the unboxing and first impressions video tonight, guys. So check that out if you guys are following my YouTube channel. Steven, I haven't uh, heard from you in a while, man. You haven't been hitting up my live streams. So good to have you back, man. Hopefully we can get more from you. But anyways, uh, so again, I'm out here uh, by a convention center area. And, you know, I am live, so I don't know how good the connection quality is. But as you guys can see here, it's a really pretty area uh, to be shooting, right? Now let's get the detail in the water. Let's see if you guys can see through the water over here. Let me turn on my top chat by the way. Or alt chat, that way we can see everyone's uh, messages over here. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, for the most part, the, I, the video looks really crisp on my, on my end over here, so. Are you in LA, Michael? No, I'm actually uh, located in South Texas. So, so basically, what you're seeing here is uh, the South Texas uh, McAllen area. If you guys are familiar with that, what's that, Mills? Mill hustles. Uh, I haven't uh, edited the video on that yet, man. So, uh, I will go home after this actually and get uh, to editing the unboxing video of the Moto G7. But I was just too excited to not uh, do a live stream on this because I've been do running some errands. And I've just been kind of getting around, uh, so I was just like, I was in the area, and I was like, let me go shoot some video, uh, take some, maybe take a few pictures, and just get some live footage of it. Uh, I'm gonna upload it tonight, guys. So if you guys uh, haven't been looking or just keep an eye out on my channel tonight, it'll be it'll be uploaded before I want to say 10 o'clock or even like midnight tonight or whatever. Uh, but I mean, let me know how the camera quality is looking for you guys. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more giveaways, man, to be honest, man. I don't feel like I should have to do any type of uh, giveaways for my YouTube channel. If I do, it'll be uh, in the future. So, so what's up, CV Tech? How's it going, man? Uh, we are just testing out, again, the Moto G7. Again, we're just walking around. We'll see how this goes. I'm not 100% I'm not positive on how this is going to look. Let me know if the video is a little bit shaky, guys, just because. Here, let's get this back on me, I guess for the heck of it. I'm sure this looks good in the background. It's got a pretty good white shot. So I can't complain too much. Again, we're just walking. I'm, I'm literally walking in a circle. So, uh, But again, Mill Hustle says, what's up, CV Tech? The camera, the camera quality is good, but it's a little bit shaky. Yeah, I don't have this on any type of gimbal or stabilizer. Uh, I'm literally just, I have it uh, connected to like a monopod or whatever. And I'm just literally holding it by the hand. So the shakiness that you're seeing is because of me walking, basically. So again, can't complain too hard. Um, let's go walk in the grass over here, I guess. 
Let's go walk in the grass. <laughs> And let's let's look at the details on the actual video. Check out the tree, guys. I mean, look. <laughs> Just look at the tree. It's pretty crazy, though. And you know what's cool about this place? Like, I don't come out here too often, but it's a nice little community area. I mean, it's not like a park or anything like that, but convention center area. It's a nice area to just come and to come sit and chill and hang out with your friends, basically. I mean. I mean, I was actually here uh, this past week at a local Comic Con event. So check out the uh, <laughs> check out the the mud tracks over here or whatever. So let's let's get close up. Let's try to get closer to this uh, waterfall just to see how it looks. Uh, Steven Oberding says I have the Motorola E5 Play from Xfinity. I'm, not, I'm never I. I you know what's funny? I've never. I think I've only had one of the Moto E series phones, and that was the Moto uh, E4, I believe. And actually, uh, uh, to be honest, I was really impressed by that little phone. I mean, there was no uh, there was no issues with that. So, so I was actually. Uh, in, I had that phone for a little bit. I had it for like two, three months, and then I just decided to get rid of it. So, looks like we got some more viewers here. And let's just take a, let's just take a look and appreciate these little floating gooses over here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let's let's see if we can make these pop. There we go. I wouldn't be surprised if the Moto E4 was actually the best in the series. By the way, let's let's see how good the detail is when we zoom in over here. You guys let me know. I'm like trying to zoom in over here with this new camera. All right, now let's let's, let's go back and let's let's take a seat and we'll and we'll chit chat over here, I guess. Well, once we get closer, a little bit closer to the water, so you're probably here in the waterfall. There we go. I'm trying to. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a seat right here, guys, Ugh. and hopefully uh, I'll put the camera back on me. Yeah, I think the Moto E4 was probably a good phone also. Uh, live streaming on, what, seven minutes already? I don't know why it feels a lot longer than that. To be honest, I'm not used to doing live streams uh, in public settings. This is probably like my first or second live stream doing in a public setting. And like for the most part, I mean, it's not a big deal, I guess. I see Magic Tech do it all the time. The guy just does it outside of his work and he don't even care, you know what I mean? Uh, but I guess... It's more, whoa, hello. I'm over here trying to play Pokemon Go, by the way, guys. Trying to get, trying to get some uh, mileage on here. I'm trying to hatch some eggs, by the way. So, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but let, what, do you, what do you guys think? How does the sound quality on this phone sound? How does it, how does it look or whatever? Like, I mean, are you guys getting a lot of graininess on whatever you're seeing here? I mean, let me know. Let's see. Hold on. What is Mill Hustle saying? Uh, everything in the G series before the G5 was crap in my opinion. Uh, as far as uh, like the, the G6 or you're talking about like the E. Uh, honestly, I was impressed by the Moto G3, man. I didn't have the Moto G4. Uh, but when I had the Moto G3, I, I could compare it to vices like the, at the time like the Nexus 5, man. Which the original Nexus 5, not the, not the 5X. Uh, but the Nexus 5 uh, was a really good phone for, for its time, so I wasn't complaining. Uh, I never used the G4 though, I kind of, I kind of did. One thing that I, I will always probably complain about, guys, come on, hit that like button by the way. I have five viewers, no one's hitting that like button. Someone, someone please hit the like button for me, please. Uh, I'm out here for y'all by the way, so. And again, keep an eye out on that unboxing video uh, tonight. I'm gonna... Uh, Put, put together that video again. I, ha I already shot the video. I just need to literally go out and and go go back home, probably eat, and then edit the video. So, so let's see. Looks fine on your end, CV Tech. Okay, that's good. Let's get a shot. Let's go ahead and get a shot of what's going on around me. So again, we are at a like a little convention area, and. We got like a nice little, I wouldn't call it a pond, but it's more of just like a little water area. And it's pretty nice out here, guys. And the weather's not too bad. It's a crisp, like 85 degrees. Here, let's get that back on me. 
Uh, it was a little hot uh, earlier in the afternoon, but now that the sun's going down, uh, we're feeling a little better. I think this is a 12 megapixel camera. Uh, it's got a, it's got a dual camera. 12 is the main, and then you have a 5 megapixel on the rear. I have no clue uh, what the front megapixel camera is, though. So I really need to get, I guess, do a little uh, research on this phone because I bought the inter I honestly bought the international version of this phone, guys, uh, which is a little cheaper uh, than the regular uh, Moto G7. So. It has, it's like, I think it has like the same build and specs, but it does have different, um, I guess, bands when it comes to the wireless bands. So I, I am noticing right out of the, right out of the gate that uh, this phone uh, is not getting high data speed. So that might be an issue. I might have to consider uh, returning it if that's the case. Because, I mean, obviously, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and if you, one of you guys are maybe interested in uh, taking this off my hands one of these days, uh, I'll definitely uh, consider selling it to one of my uh, viewers here uh, for for a decent amount. Yeah, for a decent amount. I mean, but for the most part, this this phone, I'm not going to really take it out too much. Uh, just to, I guess again, test out network network coverage, etc., like that. And again, if you guys are able to see the live stream real crisp and clear, uh, then there should be no issues. I guess. I mean, for the most part, again, I'm not I'm not having any issues walking around and, and just doing things here uh, in this specific area. So. A second, I'm over here checking my messages on my other phone here. Oh, come on, guys, two likes. Come on, guys, hook me up with some likes over here. Uh, Mill Hustle says the G7 Plus is $50 more, includes a case, better color options, and better camera. Okay, so you know, I didn't want to get the G7 Plus. Uh, this one did come with the case, by the way, so. Uh, it, it's just a, and you'll see that in the unboxing video, it's just kind of like a clear silicon case. Uh, I got the white version. I'm not too keen on colors, by the way, guys. I mean, as far as smartphones go, because you're going to end up covering the phone with a case or something, by the way. So, uh, thanks for your uh, opinion on that, Mill Hustles. But for me, it's like, it doesn't really matter. White, black, blue, whatever. Uh, I mean, it, it's really, I guess, the person's preference, you know what I mean? It's not going to, to me, it's not going to affect how the phone performs you know if it's a, a different color so so far though like I'm really super impressed by the build quality on this phone uh, again I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research I know I know this phone does not have any wi uh, wireless charging capabilities because I tried using my uh, wireless charger from my from my from my car uh, which you know it's in my vehicle uh, and it didn't work so uh, CV tech says unless it's red then it's a must get uh, if he's uh, giving New Mobile a shout out, uh, then we'll definitely check that out. I mean, I, I know he has the New Mobile uh, Pro Red, I guess, whatever red you want to call it. Red is a go. <laughs> okay, if, if I'm not disagreeing with you, I think what the Moto G7 Power Plus, it, it, they have like a red version of that specific phone or whatever, but at the same time, like. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I remember when I had the original Nexus 5, I actually replaced the back cover with a red back cover. And I think same thing with my Moto G3. I ex when I, uh, Because Moto G3 uh, back plates were customizable. Uh, so, again, uh, I, I like, I mean, I, I'm not saying like, hey, I'm not, I won't ever buy a, a, a colored phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but at the same time, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to spend $50 more just for... Uh, a color, you know what I mean. Uh, I think I, I ended up getting this phone for like two, two sixty nine, uh, two fifty nine or two sixty nine, uh, not including taxes. And again, this is the uh, international version. I'm gonna probably have to try to pop my uh, T-Mobile SIM card in just to see uh, if it's the the bands that I'm having issues with or etc. Uh, whatever, Mill Hustles, that's what abs, man. I don't know what to tell you there, man. But you know, thanks, fellas, for for tuning in on this live stream. I don't know whether to walk around a little more for you guys, or I mean, there's just people in the background chilling, hanging out with their families and kids. Uh, this specific phone has four gigs of RAM, by the way, so, but I know it's running on an octa-core processor. It's got a Snapdragon 632, uh, from what I was remembering on the packaging. Uh, so far, we're really no little, very little to any type of lag or stutteriness uh, as far as using the phone. 
Uh, but I have not downloaded a lot of apps on this phone. I've only I've only downloaded a few uh, essential apps that I've needed so far. Uh, so I mean, I'm gonna start downloading variants of apps that I have uh, just to see like if congesting the phone with a bunch of apps is gonna slow the phone down at all. You know what I mean? But I just don't know. Let's see. I. Uh, CV Tech says, I'm finally getting to edit a new uh, phone I unboxed tonight myself. I'm looking forward to that unboxing, man, is all I'm going to say. Like, I don't know what else to tell you there. Uh, but uh, keep an eye out for my unboxing video on this phone, and I'll keep an eye out on your video, man. Uh, we can help each other out. CV Tech, give me a shout out if you can, man. All right. But anyway, um, let's, again, let's, t let's change the view on this. All right. CV Tech says, what's up, Mill? What's up, Mill Hustles? Hit that thumbs up, fellas, please. I got to get that thumbs up from you guys, by the way. Help me get help me get 1,000 likes over here. So that YouTube's algorithm will, will help me out here. Let's see how the dirt looks like, guys, by the way. Let's see. Let's see how good the dirt looks here on this camera. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Any any help I can get on these videos is is always appreciated. So I'm gonna get up and start walking around again. And again, you guys are seeing the video a little bit shaky. Not too sure if this has any type of in-body stabilization or whatever you want to call it. I mean, the sun's kind of already starting to go down, so I thought this was like a good time to come shoot a video over here. You know what I mean? And I'm probably going to take a few more videos after I end the live stream uh, for the camera test, etc. Uh, this this phone does shoot at 30 frames a second uh, at in 1080p, 60 frames a second in 1080p, and I, I believe it shoots in 4K at 30 frames a second as well. So I need to check the specs on 720p because I think 720p you can actually... Uh, get like I think either 120 frames a second on the 720p. Ooh, I just saw this guy driving a Tesla over there. Nice. Let's see if I can get the shot of this guy's Tesla. This red Tesla over here. Check that out. Tesla. I think my next vehicle is going to be an electric car, guys. By the way, I mean I, I just purchased this vehicle that I bought, but within the next couple of years, once I once I get that paid off or whatever like that, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting. Uh, a Tesla man and I hope that production has gone up by then as far as the vehicle goes because I'm really tired of putting money into wasting money on gas etc like that uh, looking forward to your videos from Michael Hill Jose talks what's up Jose what's up buddy and again we're just we're, I'm continuing to just walk around uh, the convention center area here is a video of the clock tower and let's see if I can zoom in on that See if we can get detail on that, and let me know how, what you guys think on that specific uh, clock tower here. Surprised there's only like one little clock tower there. I thought it was like all the way around, but I guess not. But yeah, this uh, specific building is actually like it's like a convention center. Uh, you like the shirt? Let's just show the shirt again. Krusty Krab Pizza. Hell yeah! I actually got this like at a kind of like at a, not a thrift store. Um, but it, it, it was uh, it was kind of like just I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I don't know why I keep rotating the damn videos. I hope that's not bugging you guys by the way. Uh, me rotating the videos. I'll sit by this tree over here. Yeah, but for the most part, I mean, I'm pretty impressed on how this com the cameras are performing. Our dog says the sound uh, this video sounds really good, so that just tells me that the onboard uh, microphone on this works really good. Again, I have no external microphone connected to this. Also, I have a really loud voice, so that might just be another thing going that I, for me that I have just have a really loud voice. But all right, let's let's. T it sounds real crisp, all right, and that's because I'm hearing a lot of like. There's a lot of background noise, so I don't know if you guys are hearing like there's an airplane flying by right now, and whatnot. And let's 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 walk this way. I hope this video gets like a million views, guys, so I can become YouTube famous. And I can just quit my day job. By the way, Mill Hustle, shout out to you, man. Uh, I just actually came back from my local radio station uh, that um, uh, I do my podcast on. So I was over there uh, hanging out with uh, the uh, 
the the manager of the station and we were just trying to figure out some of the software uh, on his um on his uh programming over there so let's see if i can get a picture of this sign right here look at that but like how, how does the sign bend on top look at that. someone really like messed that up for somebody <laughs> we got a lot of people driving around over here Mill Hustle says he's got a podcast coming soon. Looking forward to it, buddy. I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, I wish I could, I, I wish you and you live near me, man, so that we can uh, do, do my podcast together, you know what I mean? And just chill for the most part, hang out. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm just glad to know uh, and have, you know, known the people that I have met over YouTube because, I mean, some of you guys are like my best friends over here, like, People that I've never met in, in real person, guys like Mill Hustles, guys like Aloha, Tito Escobar, uh, again, uh, CV Tech, aka RJ. Check it out, guys. If you guys are not familiar with La Quinta Hotels, and uh, I'm not sure what this building is. It says it's an event center, so let me see if I can zoom back out. There you go. So there's just cars driving around. What's up, Matt? Mikey Tech Reviews? How's it going, man? So again, I'm just walking around here, guys. If you guys have questions about the phone itself, let me know. And excuse any shakiness, by the way. I'm trying to like keep it as stable as possible. I really do need to get a gimbal, guys. I think uh, w once I buy a gimbal, you're going to see all of these future-type videos uh, change, obviously. But I think the cheapest gimbal that you can get is like $100. And it's like the Shiyuzin brand or whatever. Or... Or I don't know if I would want to invest because they're just they're they're pricey for what they are. You know what I mean. So if you guys know any uh, companies that sell cheap gimbals, hit me up. Maybe I can uh, look for a cheap gimbal. I think I tried purchasing one uh, through some ad on Facebook that was like thirty dollars, and they never sent it to me. And when I went back to the website, the website uh, was shut down. So uh, Mikey Tech says I have a gimbal. Uh, the one of them people who wanted me to review it. Well, Mikey Tech, if you want to send me your gimbal, man, if you don't end up using it, send it to me, dog, and we'll figure it out. I'm actually going to walk up to this big blue thing over here, by the way, guys. So uh, I'm assuming that this is shooting in 1080p by default. Um, I don't have it set on 4K on the, on the manual camera, but I really don't know how that works with uh, YouTube's live streaming, by the way. So... I kind of want there's there's a Tesla charging station over here guys by the way so I kind of want to check this out uh, just to see what's going on and maybe I can get my maybe I can get a, an, a a quick interview on someone who owns a Tesla over here maybe maybe not I, I see a guy walking past his car but these are just cool vehicles in general you know what I mean so so you'd be surprised but where I live they actually have a charging station so okay let's Let's get the hotel real quick. Embassy Suites. So this is an Embassy Suites, but it's also like an event center, I guess. Let's let's zoom back out. Mikey Tech Reviews. How come you haven't been posting videos, by the way? You say everyone sends you all this stuff, but I'm still waiting for you to post up some vids, man. So, so I'm calling you out on that, dog. So let me know what's going on there. I want to see what you're posting. So... So this guy's car, he's driving a Model, I think it's a Model 3, by the way. Pretty slick color, by the way. It's like the type of car like that Marquez drives and everything like that. It's a nice vehicle, by the way. I'm not going to complain. It looks like it needs a little washing, but other than that. But I think it's pretty cool that we do have a Tesla charging station over here. Look at that. Uh, which is like a rabbit charge and the thing about these is I don't know if they I don't know if they're free or not or what but let me know what you guys think of the plants by the way how do the plants look well, send me the link on that man but yeah look this guy's quick charging his Tesla man so normally from what I've heard it takes about 30 minutes to an hour uh, to to charge these uh, fully so I mean but again this guy doesn't have to spend any money on gas all he has to do is just pull up park his car for 30 minutes and go so pretty freaking cool though you know what I mean all right so again we're just walking again this is like it's pretty it's pretty a uh, busy area 
uh, when it when there's actually events going on over here. Oh, Mikey Tech. So this is your troll YouTube page, and uh, and and and. All right. Well, you need to send me the link to the other one, man. Tweet at me with your link, man, on Twitter, man, if you can. That's the thing. Like, I don't know how much the charges on these Teslas are, man. Like, or how or how long it takes. You know what I mean? Like, let's find out. It's a nice car, though, man. Shoot. I mean, I would I would like to invest in one one day. All right. CV Tech says, "What is that link?" Yeah, I want to know, man. Hit me up. Hit me up with that link. Because I, I really want to, I want to see what videos you've been putting together, man. And I know you said you, something about wanting to send me a phone or something a while back. So, so I'm probably gonna start walking back to my car, guys. By the way, and once I do that, I'll go ahead and end the live stream. Again, I am using Ben Mobile's uh, SIM card here, so I am gonna be charged for data. Uh, so I, I don't have unlimited data on this. So once I get back to my car, I'm probably gonna go ahead and check that out get out of the way here but yeah let's go ahead and get some detail shots on this uh, this is Texas shit right here by the way guys you guys right here some freaking cows bull look at that it's pretty cool stuff right here you know what's funny about this though like I remember shooting a video on this a while back and they didn't have these little like I guess guardrails or whatever so these are new they just put these in I guess probably uh, some dumbass or whatever tried to um, there we go finally some likes on this video but yeah some dumbass probably went in just like I don't know graffiti on one of these or something like that like you can't ever have anything nice by the way especially down here because some dumb schmuck will go ruin it they'll go graffiti it or something like that so check out the vaquero up here man check out this original esse He's even got like a mustache and beard, by the way. Esse. Okay, Mikey Tech says, I was going to send you that phone, but you never thought I was really going to send, so I ended up selling the phone. Okay, I got you. Well, no worries, man. I mean, don't worry. Uh, sometimes, you know, I like to troll people also sometimes, like Mill Hustles over here, talking trash all the time. Oh, look, here we go. Let's look at the sign. The Vaquero of Nuevo Santander Heritage Program, Nuevo Santander Gallery, would like to thank the city of McAllen. This is the company I work for, by the way. If you guys have never heard of that company, if you've never been to Texas, this is the best grocery store in the country. Even though even though it's only Texas based, it is the best grocery store, by the way. So, so just FYI, guys, for those of you who shop like Kroger and all those other ghetto ass supermarkets or whatever. Uh, AB is the best. It says it's 440 for every hundred miles to charge your Tesla. That's really not bad though. Four four dollars and forty cents for every hundred miles. If the car only has 300 mile range, you're still only spending like 15 bucks to fill it up basically because most of those cars only have about 300 300 mile range. See, even Mill Hustles agrees with me that HEB is the best store. They need to stay regional so that they don't sacrifice quality. I believe so, but I also think that once Charles uh, Butt, who is the CEO and owner of the company, uh, once he kicks the bucket that, that one of the other uh, Butt family members is going to decide to go, uh, he's going to decide to go live uh, and maybe end up making it a publicly traded company. So hopefully if that, that's not, not ever the case because I have been employed with them for like 13 years already. Uh, but we'll see how that goes, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Mill Hustle says, I love how uh, someone goes to HEB and all glammed, <laughs> all glammed up. That's just usually on Sundays, by the way. Let's see. What I'll do is that I'll just DM, DM you private link on Twitter. All right, man, that's fine, Mikey Tech. Go ahead and DM me that private link on Twitter, and I will go ahead and and respond to that link. Let's go around this building. This, I've never actually been to this building, by the way. So we're just figuring out where we are. Let's take a peep inside. Oh, okay. I know this is like an, it's an event center also where they have like plays and stuff like that, I guess, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I've never been to this one, but I know they, they have had like little, um, 
I guess events go on here at this place. So I'm just I'm, not, I'm just trying to troll. See, can I can I get in? Nope, these doors are locked. All right, that's fine. It's easy. All right, guys, I am walking back to my car. Though where is my car? Now I'm trying to think about where the hell did I park? Okay, let's go down the stairs here. Oh man, I'm pretty far. I'm still pretty far away from my car, guys. <laughs> Oops. All right, that's all right. So 440 a gallon or whatever, or 440 for every 100 miles. That's really not that bad, honestly. Uh, Sander B, can your niece get a shout out? Jeez, all right, shout outs to Alyssa, my niece, Alyssa Nicole. Uh, shout outs to you, baby girl. I'm glad my sister's watching, by the way. Finally, my biggest YouTube fan over here is watching and we're walking around the convention center area. So if you're watching this sister, Big shout outs to you for watching, okay? It's finally you guys are watching my videos, yep. That's all right though, I can't complain. All right, again, we are, we're just live streaming here at the convention center, but I'm already getting ready to wrap up uh, this video here, so. So don't stress out too much, let's see. Uh, Mikey Tech says, I so far like the Moto G7 Power that I received yesterday from Amazon Unlocked version. I thought about getting the Power, I honestly thought about getting the Play version of that phone, uh, because it was like a hundred dollars. It was literally like a, more than a hundred dollars cheaper uh, than the actual Moto G7 itself. So the G7 Play I think is retailing right now for like 180, and then you have the regular G7, which is like uh, 299 plus taxes, and then the G Moto G Power, which is like even more. So, all right, guys, let's see. We're getting there, and let me let me turn the camera back just so you guys know. I've been kind of just going around full circle here. And I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna edit my video. Pretty area. This is, this is, kinda sucks that this this wasn't like a stadium and arena instead, honestly, cause they, they really should've thought about making this like some sort of like stadium uh, or because they could've had events here also, you know what I mean? But but go, the city I live in is stupid and they and they don't know what they're doing, I guess. All right, let's see. Uh, Michael Hill says, are you in California? No, man, I am in South Texas, man. So, so that's why you see a lot of green, probably, because we take care of our plants over here in Texas. I don't know anything about, I don't know what goes on in Cali, though. So uh, not to discriminate or anything like that, you know. But anyways, walking back to my car, guys. And you can, you can say goodbye to the convention center. That's where we had Comic-Con last week. If you guys want to see some freaking blue bonnets over here, let's... Let's zoom in on the tree. I, okay, I don't even know if this is a blue bonnet tree, but but you can see the uh, foliage over here. Looks real nice. Actually, you don't know what type of tree this is. And then we'll go ahead and get, get into my car. And then we'll and then I'll go ahead and end the live stream for you guys. Okay, so thank you all for for watching this really shaky ass video. I'm sure you guys are not happy at how shaky this was, but that's okay. And. Look at this jerk parking right, right near me. Like th this is my car right here, right. And look at how, look at how he parks. Dumb, dumb guy. And it's gonna be a tight squeeze getting into my damn car, also. So, so hopefully I don't ding his door. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are getting in. If only making videos were this easy all the time, right, guys? But again, uh, have you got video on that G7 Power? Okay, I guess TV Tech's interested in the G7 Power. Uh, where you live, it seems so nice and where it is. I mean, not all areas are nice where I live, obviously. Um, it's gonna vary depending on which area of town you are, obviously. Uh, but McAllen, which is the city I live in, uh, you can Google it. It's located, like, basically, it's a border, it's a border town. Uh, so a lot of people, you know, we have a lot of people commuting from Mexico and there's just a lot of uh, stuff going on right now. So that all of that stuff that's going on with Donald Trump and everything, it's kind of like, it, it kind of affects this specific area also. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not one to get into uh, to, uh, politics and whatnot, so I'm not going to really go over that. Uh, but yeah, this is a border town. Uh, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice. It's it's over the past like 10, 15 years. Ever since I got out of high school, though, uh, it's definitely gotten a lot like better looking. I'll tell you that much. So, live streaming does seem much easier for some reason. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I like, don't get me wrong, Mill, I like, uh, or not Mill, CV Tech, I like live streaming, right? But I, it's not something that I like to do all the time, I guess. And I'm pulling, I'm pulling one out of CV Tech's book over here, by the way. I am live streaming in my car. What's up? Uh, I'm live streaming. I just, all I need is sunglasses, by the way, which I don't have on me, but that's all right. Next time I'll wear a pair of sunglasses and you guys will see, I'm going to, I'm going to copy one out of CV, CV's or RJ's book over here. We'll see how that goes, right? <laughs> Mill Hustles, man. Looking forward to some future videos of yours, man. Keep posting, by the way, man. We need to get you back to a thousand subscribers. So if you guys are watching this and you haven't subscribed to Mill Mill Hustles' new YouTube channel, man, check it out. He's gonna get back to a thousand in no time, and we're gonna get we're gonna get him some some green, if you know what I mean, by the way. So so yeah, but. For the most part, I mean, I like live streaming. I don't know if it's something I want to do consistently, guys. I don't know. If, I've heard it messes with uh, your algorithm uh, when it comes to posting videos, so I don't know if that's the actual case, uh, which is why I try to stay away from live streams sometimes. Uh, but I'll try to at least do a live stream once a week. Uh, I didn't post anything last week again because it was the week after Easter, and I just, you know, I just wanted to focus on, you know, work, my day job, etc., like that, and not have to come home and worry about getting on and you know chit chatting with people for an hour so sometimes i get burned out guys i think we all get burned out from doing uh, youtube videos but but anyways guys like i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh you know shout outs to everyone that you know liked this video anyone who participated in the moto g7 live stream uh again i'm gonna probably shoot some more video and pictures uh within the next couple of days uh so just keep an eye out on that uh, so let's see. Mikey Tech says live streaming is not that important if you have a daytime job uh, on this end, Mike, not your main focus. Yeah, and it's really not my main focus. I mean, I, I like to do it to be as interactive with you guys as possible. Uh, it, it, there's some cases where I do live stream and I get like no one watching the videos. So it kind of sometimes I get a little bit upset because I don't know if the notification bell just isn't wrong or whatever, or because YouTube's not notifying my subscribers. Uh, that I'm going live, etc., like that. So I mean, again, it is what it is. I don't have, I don't have that huge following yet. Uh, that I'm getting like a, a consistent amount of live stream people. Uh, my channel is growing though. So I mean, for those of you guys who are watching, again, thank you again for, for continuing to follow my YouTube channel as I continue to try to get it to 10k. 10k is my goal, by the way. So, so I'm really uh, shooting. I'm really at this uh, moment in time. It's already uh, May. Uh, I'm really hoping to at least hit 9,000 realistically by the end of the year, uh, but I don't know if that's ever going to be the case. So, uh, Mikey Tech says when you go live on YouTube, you should send a Twitter out to let people know when they can join your live stream. And that's the thing about that. Also, I don't have a huge Twitter following either. And same thing with Facebook. I don't have a huge uh, Facebook following, so I can post the link all day and night. But at the end of the day, like if you don't. If you don't catch my live stream when it's actually happening, then you guys are going to miss it. You're going to have to watch the repeat. And some of you guys like to watch repeat live streams. Uh, sometimes me, I'm the type of person that does not like to. I like to watch it live. If I don't get to see it live, I'm not going to watch it uh, sometimes. So, so and again, I, I understand that people have their own lives and they're all busy, etc. Like that. So again, guys, uh, you know, if you guys see that I posted a live stream and you decide to watch all whatever hour of it later on, then please do so. But again, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You guys have a great night. Thank you again for watching. Keep an eye out for the unboxing and first impressions video after I uh, 